guys. We are here to grind. Quarter finals Croatia versus Ukraine. If we have to win this somehow, guys, we did belt in uh, round of 16. So this is this is something interesting. Now I am gonna be sitting close to the camera as much as possible. I have put on the lights that I have, which can give some some brightness to my life. But yeah, this is what it is. I am really sorry, but uh, I hope you guys understand. Uh, I am expecting the power to be back, hopefully, while we are streaming. But we'll see how it goes. I mean, I'm happy that the game is not lagging, which is a big plus. It's on its own. Nothing sort of same old shit. Yes, brother. Now I think we might be able to win this because we have Lunen in goal and we are still playing our 4-3-3 attack which is a decent enough formation. Now in the next episode, episode number 3, we will be spinning the wheel again and selecting a different game because in this episode we will most probably be completing quarterfinals, uh, then semis and then finals. All, only 3 games are left. So yeah. Thinking what to do. Oh, bro, Rianji, what to do? To do, to do, to do, to do, to do, to do. It is what it is, Rianji. So confusing, so confusing. Well, Derek, he's so dangerous in the air, but it's not just his aerial ability, it's his movement in the box that buys him that little bit of space to get on the end. Today morning I woke up, I was like, okay, I am sick, but it's okay, I will try, I'm, anyway, I'm just gonna be sitting in one place, instead of lying down, being sick, I'll just sit and be sick, you know, I can just stream at least, have fun and try to come out of this sick feeling. But no, as soon as I ate breakfast and I was trying to stream, the current decided to switch off on its own and there is no power cut now. I mean, there is a power cut now, so I'm waiting for my power to come back, guys. Hopefully, that doesn't uh, hinder with our qualification to semis because we need to take Ukraine to glory. Oh! Nice. It is so difficult to decide, bro. Oh, Rianji, it is, it is. Even when I think of what I should, uh, what I would do if I was in your place, I don't know, you know. Because situation is so bad from all the directions and like, oh, yeah. Does, uh, what the heck? Is it actually raining right now? I was thinking, okay, the sun might shine because so long it was shining. Oh no. Guys, it's not looking good. It's not looking good, bro. It's not looking good, bro. I mean, I am messing up a bit. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, let us go. The equalizer. How is it raining? How has it started raining? Oh my god, there's no, no there's not gonna be sun also. So I thought there'll be some natural light coming from outside because I am sitting near the window. So I thought, okay, in some time natural light will be out. It will be Gucci as long as, uh, uh, for, as a little bit, you know, some light. But there's like, you know, today is darkness. But we are still out on the grind guys, we are still on the grind, I am going to be posting this on YouTube uh, and those who want to watch it there and if they missed it on live, you guys can catch up on YouTube because we post this unedited, unfiltered, whatever we talk, whatever is being... Okay, 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 oh, okay. Wait a minute, is this hail stop? Ice cubes are falling, I feel like. It does sound like that. So the ball is 
I am too tired and weak to get up and go check, but yeah, I feel like it is. I can't let them score another goal. That if they score another goal, then it's done. Why is this guy chipping all the time? So unlucky. Well, it's a cheeky attempt, but it just doesn't come down in time. Possession one. And in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. So the whistle then. We're at the halfway stage in this match. Oh, Germany is winning. Germany is winning. So if we win this, we might be facing Germany. But it doesn't look like we'll win. Because Croatia are, are on a madness. Because they, they have good, good players, guys. They have Maric, they have uh, Perisic, they have... Who else do they have? Kovacic. How oh, have we missed on that? Oh my god, that is a pass that I didn't want to do. I don't know where the pace of these guys have gone because these guys are good pace filled people. All the players, all the players. In uh, most of the, I mean, at least seven players in this Ukraine team have good pace. I don't know where their pace has disappeared. Yes, back to level grounds. How has that gone in? What? Is that Kramnik? we have to go ahead we have to go ahead i can't keep uh, you know coming back from one nil down to then equalizing oh my god Nice turn, nice turn, nice turn, Mudrid. Oh my god. I thought that is for sure gonna be the winner. try and get some pace into the team I'm 
I'm just gonna leave the front three as it is because them guys have good stats even if they are weak. So I'm just gonna leave it how it is and see how it goes. Oh my god, they have gone ahead. In the last minute, I don't know how that has gone inside the goal, but it has gone inside the goal. Now this is gonna be a hard one. Second, last second. I thought the ref was gonna blow the whistle, even though the ball is on my feet. Oh my god, what is this game? Croatia versus Ukraine. Is it gonna be this intense in real life? I am gonna watch each and every game. There are three games played at three different times in a single day. I am gonna be watching every single game, and it is gonna be insane. It is gonna be insane, guys. Oh my god. Portugal have lost apparently so we are gonna be facing i am staying positive we are gonna be oh my god look at that we are going to be facing none other than the germans who the mighty mighty germans not gonna lie i feel like how germany used to bottle the matches I feel like Portugal might do that this time. I don't know if there is synergy, you know, in that Portuguese team. Like, uh, I am... What? What? <laughs> Let's go, boys. Let's go, boys. Come on, vamos. Another fifteen minutes. I should have gone a bit in front. I should have gone a bit in front. We need to get the sixth goal in to get a 2 0 lead because this is looking ropey. Second period of extra time. 
How about the cross? Emphasis on the clearance, a good one. Just have to make sure they don't get caught on the counter attack. Do they have the guile to up and up the defence? And reading it absolutely superbly. Eh? Go to Brazil, my love. What is happening? Let us. Yes. Yes. We have gone through to the semi. What a game. What a game. Nail biter. Nail biter. Are we facing, are we facing Germany? Actually. Yeah, we belted Austria and then kind of got a scary run with Croatia. Ukraine versus Germany, you know? Oh my god. This is gonna be crazy. Let me just save the progress for now because I don't trust my laptop. Uh, as, lo as much as I love my laptop, I don't trust it one bit. So let me just save it because we still don't know. Chippy chippy. Rianji, what's up? Hey, Rian, I'm not wearing earphones, bro. My ear is uh, feeling a little bit. When you get cold, you know how your ear feels, you know, like swollen. So I'm not wearing earphones. <laughs> sun is back though, outside. It is still drizzling, but sun is back. Hopefully, my power also will be back. Please. Rian, sir, do you have work today? Continue tournament. We will try to finish. I mean, uh, I want to finish this Ukraine. Uh, what is a path to glory in this episode? So no matter what happens in today's episode, we are gonna be finishing this, and then we'll move on to different game or uh, we'll sit and play ultimate team for a while because even I have to complete some evolutions, and then uh, what we'll do is tomorrow we'll spin the wheel again. And see what uh, yeah. your power will come 8 p.m. Wow! I j then I just hope I can play these two games. defender just stop running what the heck personally it's gonna be hard to defeat this team and on top of that my team does this yes. Yeah, bro, my week off got over on Saturday, so today also, okay, okay. Can he 
take advantage. And the keeper there to deal with it. Over it comes. Joachim Konoplia. Well, they kept their check defensively. Job done for now. Why are my defenders just standing over there? Like they know the ball is gone over them. It is already going to be hard to beat this team and I don't have much space on my teammates. Oh my god, the ball would have gone through the goal. Wow. Wow. We just need one goal. We just need one goal to get our lifeline back. Oh my god. Succeeded in keeping it in play. And the defenders know they need to get tighter. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Oh yeah, the player change is so slow and you no, know, not that effective. Okay, officially I'm in the darkness. I am in the darkness because the light that I was using has run out of power. So you guys can't see me, but you guys can see the game. Uh, which we are about to lose anyway. But yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this, you know, series. It is nice. It is fun. Selecting a random team from the wheel and then just playing with it. It feels good. It feels good. Whoa. Now they have the advantage. That's good refereeing. Carabaya. And we're into the final half hour. Oh my god. We are losing. Kimmich, Andrich, 
If Rudiger was not there, I would have scored at least two goals by now. Not even joking. If Rudiger was not there, it's 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 an easy outing for me. Well, that cross was more than acceptable, but they couldn't fire at home. Alexander Zinchenko. Okay, we have caught a goal, but is it too late? This is cross to Krug. Germany pushing forward with options available. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw in. Inside the final 10 minutes in this one. Well, it's ideal game management when you can pass the ball in this fashion. Really good challenge. Well, on the attack, hunting for a late equaliser here. Usiala. On the ball, Rudiger. Gundogan. Tony Kroos. Here's Phil Krug. Good use of advantage there. Jamal Musiala. Will he finish? And oh my god. Okay, we have lost. But it was a good a good uh, series with Ukraine. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. Ooh. It is what it is guys. Ukraine have come to the semi-finals which is insane. I didn't expect to come so far. But I knew I was going to come out of the group stage because we only had Belgium to deal with. But apart from that, it was a really good uh, episode with Ukraine. Now in tomorrow's series, we will be spinning the wheel again. And hopefully, we will get a good team. Even if we get a decent, I mean, even if we get a three-star team, it is okay. We will try to come and win the finals with them. It was good. It was good. A, a good, uh, you know, an idea. And today's day has been a bit of an off day because no power. I am sick, and then Ukraine. It was a struggle to. The following teams have been knocked out of the competition. End tournament. Tomorrow, like I said. We will be continuing the tournament. Uh, if it's just continue tournament. What does that mean? Wait. I can play again? That doesn't make sense. I'm pretty sure we got knocked out, right? Like, what is this? Is it because I have a network problem or something? The nail biting drama of the twenty twenty four you Hello and welcome. What is happening? Wait, is it gonna give me another choice? Another try. I am gonna just play and see if we can at least beat Germany this time. Look at that, look at that, Cru look at Cruz's pace. Central defense and Niklas Fulkrug is up front. And the starting eleven for Ukraine. 
Well, it's a 4-5-1, but with three of the midfield players giving close support to the centre forward, and the other two sit in deeper. Also, watch out for the fullbacks getting forward at every opportunity. They do like to get crosses into the box. Well, that's a fine-looking pass. How about that putting too fine a point on it? He's missed it. Wait, did, did they dumb down the difficulty for me or something? Because I'm pretty sure it was not this easy. I am literally in there. What is happening? Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. Stewart, in particular, what do you expect to see from him? Well, we know he's a good all-round player, but his strength is when balls are rolled into him. He can hold up the play, he can roll defenders, he can get away from them, and that's key to the way his team want to play. When they get the ball into him, that's when they're at their strongest. What is happening? My team is. I feel like my team is boosted. Another short corner routine. Growing pressure here, and another corner. And fired over by course. Okay, they still end up scoring the first goal. I don't know if this is world class or if it's semi pro now. Or professional or uh, whatever the one lower to world class is but it doesn't feel like it is different it felt like it was different till the part where I got past Rudiger like that but now the other players feel like they are overpowered Rudiger has, it feels like Rudiger is dumbed down but the other players are look, look at that look at that Okay, we are losing. We did lose, so we're just gonna end. I mean, swim to the end. How did we win with? <laughs> How did we win with penalties against Germany? What? Okay, guys, you guys know what had happened. We lost against Germany. And that is what it was, but I don't know how this has happened. It let me just play again, so I just pressed play again, and somehow we have won against Germany, three four in penalties. This is a bit weird for me, but okay. I mean, our aim is to take uh, Ukraine to finals and win the cup. I guess they wanted us to win the. We were playing against Germany. We lost the first time, and then for some reason we were able to play again against Germany. And then I just clicked on sim to the end, and then we ended up winning against Germany in the penalties. Three, no, two, three to us, or three, four to us, something like that. But we won. B one. Now, the after that, my laptop just crashed. I don't know how many of you guys saw that, but I don't think uh, on YouTube it will be posted that way. But I'll just uh, put the part where we played with Germany, and then we'll cut to this part. Uh, since my laptop crashed, this part didn't get saved. The part where Giroud and Mbappe scored two bangers. So now this is the chance for us to redeem ourselves and try and get Ukraine to glory, which is kind of impossible. But uh, I mean, we won't know until we try our best and you not know, try to. It is looking doable. Not gonna lie. But out of nowhere, these guys score because of their pace. I try to defend so much and then they just end up scoring. Well it's no surprise that France are here in the decisive match at the Euros. It perhaps was to be expected before a ball was kicked in anger, but they have really delivered. Can they forge ahead? Look at that, they're just leaving the ball. I don't know what is happening there, but the, my players are just leaving the ball and then running away from it. Well, in many ways, he's a throwback to the 80s in the way he plays. He's so strong in holding up the play, he can outmuscle opponents. Today, the defenders will certainly know they've been in a battle. Oh, fine stop! Viktor Tsigankov. Good challenge. Oh my god, that was close. If you play like this, it's also good enough, I feel like, because 
at the end we can just score a goal and then kind of snatch the win away from france not gonna lie this has been this has been a fun way of playing with the ukraine uh, and you know trying to take them to finals and coming out of a group stage was actually a big task but we did we did every single game has been a nail biter for us even the group stages the final game we had to win to get into round of 16 and then round of 16 was easy we belted austria but then semi finals against croatia oh my god not semi finals my bad quarter finals against croatia nail biter and then uh, semi finals against germany i don't know what happened there but something has happened and we are in finals right now okay I think this is where the journey ends. Griezmann has scored now. This is the problem going up against high rated teams. Because they have good attributes. So they can just you know boost their uh, space anytime. And then just uh, easily. How are they defending all these passes and stuff so easily? My players are just letting it go through. Like I said, the attributes matters a lot. We are a what? Three star team or three and a half star team? How is that not offside? Dogby. 
and maybe to use a counter-attacking ability to good effect. Good idea. And he could cash in. Let us go. Finals and we are actually we are actually still in the game. We are still in the game. I don't know how this has happened, but we are still in the game. Let us go. Oh my god. How has nobody got to the end of the ball over there? Well, that's a good save, but really he should have scored from there. That's a big chance. Nope, that is not where I wanted to boss the ball. Defend the boys, defend the ball. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? These guys are so slow. Fighting strongly, decisively. Can they fashion something? Oh my god, what a defending. If he would have left the ball, that's a goal. One hundred percent that's a goal. Okay, he just went through him. Look at the pace on these guys. Look at the defending on these guys. They are better. They are better. Oh, did well to skip through. I kind of wish it wasn't. Uh, if it was England, we would have had a chance. I'm not even gonna lie. If it was England in the finals, we would have had a chance. Because England has good players, but uh, there's only one or two players with good pace in him. But this French team has massive players with massive pace, massive attributes. It is what it is. What a crazy journey with Ukraine it has been. Now, tomorrow's episode, we will spin the wheel yet again and see how it goes. Now, I hope this is it and we don't have to do any more of the playing. France champions, it is what it is. It is what it is. In tomorrow's uh, episode, we will spin the wheel again. I am doing this on Twitch live. So, if you guys want to watch, whoever is watching on YouTube, if you guys want to watch this live, Come join me on Twitch. I mean, it is going to be unedited except for today's episode because there has been a lot of technical difficulties. The first half would have been me without any lighting and then there was literally a dark camera screen on that corner and now we have good lighting. The current is back. The power is back. We are playing and I mean, it is literally the same score, uh, but okay, cool. End tournament. Now next one, we're just gonna click on play tournament and then we'll spin the wheel and see which team we get. But yeah, that is it for today.